Hey guys, Ben here. Just want to show you an example of how to look for functionality that Python provides so that you can save time and not have to write it yourself. As a programmer, you don't want to waste time reinventing the wheel, and so it's often useful to look for and make use of functionality that's provided by the language that you're using, or even stuff written by others, in order to simplify your code and make yourself more efficient. In the past, I've seen many students write their own version of built-in functions, and so I just want to show you an example of how you can try to avoid that. So take this situation. I've got a string, and I want to count the number of times certain characters occur in that string. So for example, I might want to know how many times the letter O occurs in a string, or I might want to know how many times the letter G occurs in that string. I've got a function here that's stubbed out that we could write out that will do that for us. We could fill in the logic that's going to count the number of times a character occurs in a string, but that would take a bit of time. And so a better way to approach this would be to have a look around to see if we can find anything that already exists to do what we need it to. So we'll come over to Google and what you want to do is you want to type in meaningful searches that describe well the situation that you're trying to solve, the problem that you're trying to solve. So we're using Python, so that'll be my first keyword, and what we're trying to do is count the number of times a character occurs in a string. So let's use that for our search and see what we get. Count occurrences of character in string. Okay, and we get a few results with some pretty good matches, so let's have a look at the first one. Okay. And if we scroll down here, we can see that there looks like there's this built-in method on strings called count, which is actually going to count how many times a given substring occurs in a certain string. And so let's uh, go back and see if we can use that. So I'm just going to leave my function definition there for the moment and run the module. And let's see if this will work. So we've got our string, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy cat. And uh, let's try and call the count method. So let's see if we can count the number of times the letter O occurs. Okay, and that tells us three. And if you do a quick scan over that, you can see that that's correct. Or how about if we tried to count the number of times the letter G occurred? Okay, we can see that's zero because from the typical sentence, which has lazy dog, I've replaced it with lazy cat. Now it's worth remembering that this won't always solve our problem. So potentially we will have to write some code ourselves. But the point that I want to stress is that it's better to first look for code that exists to potentially save yourself some time. And if you can't find anything to then implement it yourself afterwards. Hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you next time.